Hey everybody, this is MCS Dave, and today I'm going to do a breakdown of the MCS Hurricane. Now last week on our blog over at uh, ModernCombatSports.com, we kind of just went over everything as far as like what the gun can do, you guys got to see the lock bolt in motion, um, and we, we just kind of covered the Hurricane. This week I want to break that down for you, I want to show you how this is going to work. Now over here you can see that I've got a table set up, we're going to go through the the uh, breakdown and maintenance on it step by step, operator level maintenance. I'll even take the lock bolt off, show you guys how that works. So why don't we head over to the table and uh, let's see what's going on. All right, so here we are at the table. Now, I mentioned earlier that the uh, MCS Hurricane is a toolless disassembly, it, or it's boasted as a toolless disassembly. And while it's minimal tools, a lot of times these pins will get stuck. So I do use an old screwdriver and a hammer. Now, I'm very careful when I do this. You don't want to slam into it because uh, you're going to damage the pins, but just give it a couple of taps, and then um, if it's still too stuck, what I'll do is I'll use an Allen key just to punch through uh, the rest of the way, uh, and that really helps get these pins out. Like I said, sometimes they get stuck, uh, and so even though it's a toolless disassembly, um, you do occasionally need to use a tool to, to loosen the pins. Now, once those back pins are out, I'm going to take out my uh, Flex Air kit or my Flex Air adapter, uh, and uh, just kind of look over the O-rings, make sure that they're good to go, they're not torn or anything like that. Uh, it's, you know, it's a good practice to do, because uh, there's nothing worse than getting out to a game and realizing that you have a leak. So next, uh, after that's taken out, I'm going to move over to the magazine well and the grip. Now, move, removing the grip can be a little difficult if you don't pull off the mag well first. So that's what I'm doing here. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and knock that pin out. Again, it, it is what it is. You can see right there how it gets stuck. It uh, requires a little bit of force. Once it's all the way in, there's no getting your fingernails under it. At least for me, I keep my fingernails really short, so that's my issue. Uh, anyway, uh, once that's taken off, now you're down to pretty much your, you're almost to the core. There's a little retaining pin in here and one on the other side. Now, trying to get your fingernails under that, if you don't have uh, longer nails, and like I said, I keep mine short, uh, I will use my screwdriver tip to get underneath there and uh, just get that out. Again, inspect those O-rings that are on there, flip the gun, uh, and over here we have another one. That one's not so bad to get to. Simple enough. At this point you're ready to pull out your core. Alright, there you go. That's your core. Uh, every once in a while the spring likes to get hung up though inside, so you may need a Allen key or a screwdriver just real quick to, to dislodge that. So now you got your spring. And as soon as my screwdriver stops running away. Okay. And then you got your bolt. And now you got your core. Also that's the flex air, uh, the other end of the flex air kit that plugs in there. That will replace the regular stem. Uh, that goes up through the trigger rear, uh, the trigger frame uh, when you put a flex air kit in there. So that's basically your breakdown of your uh, hurricane. All right. So once it's broken down, you want to make sure you just wipe off on any excess grease, dirt, gook, whatever you find uh, in there uh, during the um, you know just from play days. I mean, the paintball gets all goopy, um, and it gets stuck in there. Uh, you know, you get. All that just crud and sand and dirt, and the hurricanes take quite a beating. So, you know, there's some really interesting places or foreign objects can get in there. Now, that's your just your basic breakdown. Now, I'm going to go ahead a little further here for you guys, uh, and I'm going to show you guys how to take out your lock bolt. Um, really, unless you've got a paint break in the in the breach or it's gummed up or not working, there's really no reason to go this far. Now, uh, I will say that if you have a plastic hand, or the uh, metal handguards, a good new thing to do is uh, remove your barrel first. I learned the hard way. I did scratch my um, my Widowmaker right after I got it because I just pulled the shroud off. All right, so with that out, there is a small pin. You guys really can't see it too well on the camera. There's a little notch in that pin, and you're going to want to get a screwdriver or something in there to slide that out, and then you have, uh, you're going to need a pair of pliers just to grab that pin. Be careful with this pin. Um, they're not super robust. They're not, um, I mean, they're, they're pretty thin, and they get a little thinner, uh, and part of it just because there's a notch uh, on there uh, so that you can actually slide it out. Once you get that out, um, to clean mine, I ran it through some water, ran some Q-tips behind it, uh, and just kind of knocked out all the grease and, and built up paint uh, with that. And that's what I did there. Um, so I'm just testing right here to make sure that it moves freely like that, as it should. Uh, that will be able to stop the bolt. So now basically you're broken down all the way. I mean, you can take the clamshells apart, if you want to, if it's excessively dirty, I would run a squeegee or something through it or just a cloth just to get out the, the garbage, but that's that's the, the easy way to do it. So, 
putting back the lock bolt. This is really important. There's a pin. I don't know. If you look right here, there's a notch. Or I sand that down. There's a notch right there. That notch needs to go in first. Okay. It, it's the only thing that's going to end up in that bolt catch, uh, or I'm sorry, in that little port right there. If you do it the other way, you're not going to have it. And I guarantee you, you will break your lock bolt trying to take that stupid thing out. So make sure that the notch goes towards the gun. You have the short side in there. That's what I'm pointing at right here. Um, so that you can get back to it when you need to pull it out again. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now that we're all cleaned up, I use a, a gun salve on my stuff. I don't use oil. You could use oil. It is an X7. It doesn't need the gun salve, but I prefer to use it. It sticks to the, um, it sticks to your uh, internals a little better, keeps them lubed a little better. It's been very good uh, as far as uh, corrosion protection and, and whatnot for me. Um, so that's why I use it. Now uh, I'll also slippery little guy when you're covered in grease. So what uh what i'll do here is also loop the o-rings and uh whatever keep them moist so they don't dry right out before i put this back into the core and it's important when you put this back in the core that this little port is facing towards the back you won't be able to assemble the gun if it's not um but that is your air port for your uh, for your flex air kit now there's a nice spring sponge everything's moving nice and smooth in there there's that retaining pin we pulled out earlier it needs to go in and then into that slot it's almost a little keyhole type type deal so that needs to be put in before you lock it down with this other pin, before that that, that uh, core is all the way seated. All right, so now the core is all the way seated um, and it's back together. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my shroud back on um, and I'm just gonna be able to gun backwards for the most part. Uh, so it's just essentially what you did in reverse. Uh, again, I use a hammer just to get those things to seat. Uh, it is what it is, you know, it's, it's I know it's supposed to be, it's, it's minimal tools. Uh, I know it's supposed to be toolless, but like I said, these things get stuck over time. They get exposed to the elements. They get dirt on them. The paint starts chipping on them. They get gouged. Whatever the case may be, so they become really difficult to put back in. So, yes, they're toolless, or they're designed to be toolless. But um, in all honesty, when you're reassembling and disassembling, uh, or you're just you're using it, you're going to need something just to kind of knock those things in there and secure it. I mean, the good part is you're not losing a bunch of screws. They're push pins. Um, so that's really nice. Uh, some of them still going fairly easy. Some of them don't. Uh, but, um, you know, it is what it is. Uh, and then, like I said, just kind of reversing. So what I did here is I, I've got the mag well secured, and I haven't started with the pistol grip yet. Uh, the pistol grip, there we go. See, toolless. Uh, the pistol grip, uh, I go from front to back, and I lock that in uh, there on the back with the, um, yeah, that one's just being really freaking difficult for some reason. Uh, but it is lined up. It does seat right. You'll see it in a minute. Um, but, uh, yep, see? But, uh, anyway, what I was saying is, um, so, once I lock the front down, I go ahead and I, and I install the back, and I, I make sure that that, um, that flex air kit is, is, is in there nice and tight. And that, um, there's a spacer in there. I don't know if you saw it earlier. That spacer will actually stop, uh, will actually stop the gun from you know leaking and it seats it really nice keeps it from wobbling it's a, it's a good deal that spacer is, is nice but it's also what makes this so difficult right here because it's pushing back as i'm trying to shut this so make sure that when you put this back in there with that spacer you hold the back together there you go and then you know the final pin up top and we're all set after this the gun's back together you know and and you'll find after you get it together here that it, you know it's going to require a pretty good wipe down because uh, you're going to be covered in grease and, and whatnot. So after all that's done, I'll throw my barrel back in there so I don't damage it any more than I already did when I took the shroud off before and scratched it. You can kind of see it as it rotates around. Um, so once that's done, I'm just going to do a quick function. Well, yeah, we're going to wipe it down again. I'm going to do a quick functions check on it to make sure that everything works. Uh, and it's just as simple as I screw my air tank on. And, um, you know, neighbors get concerned when you uh, have loud bangs coming from your apartment. So... What I'll do is I'll put a cloth over the end of it. I know there's no paint in the gun because we've just cleaned it and I checked it three times before I started this video to make sure there was no paint in the gun. Just make sure there's no paint sitting in your barrel. I have once upon a time made that mistake where a ball was stuck in there I didn't know about and fired it. And, you know, those of you who know my wife <laughs> could have matched how angry she was. All right. So there you go. You get the lock bolt. That's seated and it's safe and it works. And that is essentially the breakdown of the MCS Hurricane. Guys, this is MCS Dave. I hope this was a little bit educational, and I look forward to seeing everybody out on the field.